I'd like to introduce you to Jennifer. She is an architect, uh, a 42-year-old uh, wife and mother, and she knows how important it is to get a good night's sleep. She got a ZO because she doesn't sleep the way that she wants to. And uh, when she first started sleeping with a ZO, she created a myzeo.com account. And in this, she answered a number of questions in her profile about her lifestyle. So Jennifer starts sleeping with Zio, and uh, she's staying in a baseline of how she sleeps. And we ask her to uh, upload and select six nights of data. And this is going to be what we use to compare all of her progress throughout the program. And while she's doing this, she wakes up one Saturday morning, and she gets a 54 for her ZQ. Now, she's 42 years old. She uh, t looks at her sleep wheel over here, and she turns it, and she says, holy cow, I just slept like a 70-year-old. What is going on? What can I do now about my sleep? So Jennifer uploads her data onto MyZeo and uh, goes to MyZeo and explores one of the sleep tools that we provide. This is called the ZQ Breakdown. And she looks at it and says, how did I get a 54? Well, she sees here that her total Z of 5 hours and 11 minutes contributed to 44 points of ZQ. Now, she also got 14 bonus points out of her restorative sleep but she was demerited four points for waking up in the middle of the night. And she said, well, what, what really is going on here? And so she went to another tool that's in MyZeo. And this one is in full color and is interactive. And uh, what you see here in red is all the times that Jennifer woke up in the middle of the night. It's quite a bit right here. Uh, you also see in light green and in dark green the amount of REM sleep she had and deep sleep she had. And uh, here Jennifer is asking herself, all right, how do I get less of that red and more of that green. Well, she starts thinking to herself, what did I do that Friday night to cause me to wake up on Saturday with a 54? And she said, OK, it was uh, the end of the week, and I really had to stay late at work, so I drank a lot of caffeine. And then I came back home, and my husband was snoring. And he was literally shaking the foundation of our house. And it took me a while to fall asleep. I think that might have done something. And then also, when I woke up this morning, I had light coming into my eyes. And uh, that wasn't the way I wanted to wake up. So could these factors have, uh, have been part of the contribution to my 54? Maybe. And what we invite people to do is to fill out a sleep journal online. All you have to do is fill out on a scale of 1 to 4 how much these factors affected their sleep. And so she put in, yes, I had light. Yes, I had caffeine. Yes, I did this. Yes, I did that. And as you can see here in the checkout box in orange, it says, based on your profile, it seems like light in your bedroom might be stealing your sleep. So over the course of this step, she, uh, she goes out and buys a night mask so that that sunlight doesn't wake her up in the morning. And she realizes that she feels a lot better when she wakes up, when she uses that eye mask. For her, that was important. And so she goes onto MyZeo and uploads her data again and goes to another tool. And it's called the cause and effect tool. And here she uh, sees in her, uh, in her tool that the nights that she had her eye mask on and it was extremely dark in her bedroom, she got an average ZQ of over 100 points. Meanwhile, on the nights when uh, she woke up and had uh, lots of light in her bedroom, it was extremely bright, and she got a 66 on average for a ZQ. Now, these are just examples of the kinds of tools that really help to motivate Jennifer and help her, uh, encourage her to show her that things really are changing in her sleep. Now, she also starts uh, thinking, well, what else might be affecting my sleep? What else can I explore and discover on my own? She says, what does alcohol do? Well, we've created a tool that is, we call the trends tool. And in green here, we have her total Z, the total time that she was sleeping throughout the night. And in gray, the bars at the bottom, we have the number of servings of alcohol she had. And uh, she sees here that on nights when she drank more alcohol, her total Z was lower. At the end of her, uh, of her step three, where she is working on her bedroom, she receives a report. It summarizes how she actually slept during that step. And it compares it to her baseline that, she's, that she set in, in the very beginning. As, as uh, Jennifer saw here, her total Z went up by over half an hour just by putting on a night mask and making a couple other adjustments in her bedroom. It's as simple as that for some of these steps. Other steps take a little bit more work. But the important thing here is Jennifer now feels like she has control over her sleep, and she has faith that as she progresses through the seven-step program, she will keep on learning things that can affect her.